subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Wooden satellites in the future and changing colors of the rivers in the US. That's what we talk about on the first scientific episode of the new year. A very happy new year to all of our viewers and welcome back to Scientifix where we bring you the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week, scientists have found 12 new species of sea creatures in the Atlantic that had not been known to science before. The findings are a result of a five-year-long undersea project that involved 45 research expeditions carried out by over 80 scientists from across 13 countries. The mission of the project, known as ATLAS, was to study the North Atlantic, including its water, the seafloor, currents and more particularly, the creatures that live there. Most of the research was conducted using underwater robots. In addition to the 12 new species the team found, they also discovered 35 species living in areas where they were not previously known to reside. Among these were new kinds of a coral and a sedentary animal that resembled moss. Also this week, a team of scientists in Japan has announced that they are developing the world's first wooden satellites that will tackle the issue of increasing space junk. According to the World Economic Forum, there are nearly 6,000 satellites circling the Earth and about 60% of them are junk. Some estimates suggest that there could be 15,000 satellites in the orbit by the year 2028. There is an increasing threat of space junk falling to Earth. They can also collide and destroy active satellites and jeopardize future space missions. Space experts and researchers have been investigating different options to remove and reduce the space junk. The team from Kyoto University in Japan has now started research on the use of wood materials in space and are hoping to create the first wooden satellites by 2023. The researchers will begin experimenting with different types of wood in extreme environments on Earth. These wooden satellites would burn up without releasing harmful substances into the atmosphere or raining debris on the ground when they plunge back to Earth. Also this week, scientists have discovered evidence of a dwarf planet-sized asteroid in our solar system. The team made this conclusion after studying a small shard of a meteoroid that had arrived on Earth in 2008. According to the team, this meteorite came from an asteroid roughly the size of Ceres, which is the biggest object in the solar system's asteroid belt. It also appears to have formed around water and under some pressure. The shard of the meteoroid is known as Almahata Sita. In 2008, a 9-ton asteroid came into Earth's atmosphere and exploded into some 600 meteorites over Sudan. This is the first time that scientists had been able to predict an asteroid impact before it actually happened. That allowed the scientists to scoop up 23 pounds of samples which have been object of scientific study. Over 200,000 satellite images taken over a 34-year period since 1984 shows that a third of the rivers in the US have significantly changed color, turning from blue to yellow and green. The satellite images taken from NASA and the US Geological Survey's Landsat program showed rivers with a dominant hue of yellow, while more than a third of the images were mostly green. Just 8% of the river picks were mostly blue. Since most of the rivers are changing gradually, it is not noticeable to the human eye. Areas where the color changes have been the fastest are more likely to have increased human activity. Rivers can appear to be shades of blue, green, yellow or other colors depending on the amount of suspended sediment, algae, pollution or dissolved organic matter in the water. Usually river water turns green as more algae blooms or when the water carries less sediments. Rivers tend to turn yellow when they carry more sediment. This is Mohana Basu's special correspondent at The Print. Do follow us on social media for the latest updates.